Here we're going to talk about the nomenclature fundamentals. In this case, we're talking about bases. And a base is a substance in chemistry that when placed in water or in aqueous solution, it yields OH minus ions. So what happens is it takes a water molecule, H2O, and separates it into an H plus and an OH minus. That would be one way in which a base would act. Or in many of the ones that I have on the board here, have a, most situations here, it simply will split up into two ions, in this case an OH minus and an Na plus. So that's how OH ions are placed into water by placing these substances into the water. So in the case of uh, this element right here, or this compound right here, we call this sodium hydroxide. And here this would be potassium hydroxide. And I think you'll see the pattern pretty soon. So here we have barium hydroxide. Now you say, well, wait a minute, this has two hydroxide ions, this has one. Don't we need a different name for it? But it turns out, again, notice these elements right here, sodium, potassium, barium, uh, nitrogen, rubidium. Most of those, except for the nitrogen one here, um, they are, they're all these elements right here, the alkyl elements and the alkyl, er, the alkyl, alkyl earth elements. And those can only be in a plus one and a plus two state. So if we're dealing with barium, we know that this will have to be linked up with, uh, I don't have, oh, there it is, with uh, two of the OHs because it needs the two negative charges in order to become a neutral molecule. Now in the case of this right here, notice that this is very different from all the other ones. It doesn't have an OH in there. This is called ammonia. And the way ammonia becomes a base is that it has a very strong affinity to grab a hydrogen. So what's going to happen with ammonia is it's going to take eight NH3 and a water molecule, H2O, and it's going to grab one of these and become an NH4 plus and an OH minus. So that's how ammonia becomes the ammonium ion and it then delivers a hydroxide ion to the water, making the water more basic. The way the water is made more basic, of course, the OH minus is then going to go find an H plus and join and make that water again, thus removing hydrogen ions from the water, and therefore the pH will go up. But again, that is something for a future video. So this is called ammonia. This is called rubidium hydroxide. And this is called cesium hydroxide. And this is called strontium hydroxide. And you can see that all the alkali elements and all the alkali earth elements form all these different kinds of hydroxide compounds, hydroxide, and they're all bases. And this is calcium hydroxide, and this is lithium hydroxide, and finally, we have magnesium hydroxide. Well, that gives you a nice start on some of the more common uh, bases that are around. Of course, there's many more that form different kinds of molecules and different kinds of compounds that are also bases that produce OH ions in the water, but that's for another video. So at least I want to give you some basic idea of what a base was and some of the common bases that produce the hydroxide ions when dissolved in water.